welcome back to game number four between the players Acer Nurcio and TSO Hume. The map is going to be Daybreak. The, uh, the red Zerg here in the top right hand corner will be TSL Hume and the blue Zerg in the bottom left hand corner will be Acer Nurcio. Now this could be game number four or it could be game number three. I'm not sure. Um, this Spoiler alert, if you don't want to hear spoilers and don't watch this, um, Hume is up three games in a best of five, so uh, I, I don't see the reason for them to play a fourth game, unless it's for points, this is for them to go for a StarCraft Team Finals uh, in May, so that might be the case if they're going for points, uh, this fourth game will be played. Now, Nurcio already knows he's won this, unless this is the game three, in which I was speaking of then he, uh, then he has him. This is actually game number three, and they don't know it, and they're still happy with each other. Nurcio can still come back, and Hume can still, um, Hume can still lose this. But at the point that I saw two games in which he is down, uh, I don't think that is the case. Now both players going for a uh, similar, not similar, but never mind. Uh, this spawning pool is down for Nurcio. Uh, again, Nurcio is going uh, spawning pool play, and it hasn't gotten him anywhere in the last few days. No, he is going to the glitch tracker, which means speed wings, and uh, possibly later on he could get uh, roaches. He's in fact going for a 2 days timing push or whatnot, but Hume again is going to go for the macro, and this is working out for him as, as he's already won the other games. Let's see if he makes some. Uh, boisterous blunder here, or if he will uh, continue to uh, continue to rule and dominate the area. Now he is going for extractor of his own, so he will get speed leads. Now the timing will just be a little bit delayed compared to Nurcio. Now Nurcio needs to do a bunch of damage with this if he plans on surviving, because he has proven that two base Zerg is uh, is more efficient than one base late, late to expo Nurcio here, and that is going to uh, going to be the case here. Both players have gone basically the exact same builds the entire time. Um, just a slight deviations with this uh, extractor here. Uh, Hume did not get Zerg and Speed last game, and he is this game. We'll see if he uh, decides to pull them off when he gets that 100. Now a couple of Zerglings are going to attack here, but these Zerglings are in great position to deal with it. Um, well, not four Zerglings anyway. They're waiting for another Zergling, and this Queen is about to finish. So the Zerglings are about to fight here in, in a choke, and the Queen is done. That is done. What will this drone die? No, a drone. That drone survives with one HP. He must feel like the luckiest in the world. Here's the Queen. And the Queen will fend this off, or just sit there. Um, there they go. And now the Zerglings Queen is about to finish here for their shield, but he didn't do much with it. He's building a Baneling Nest on the back of his. He's possibly going to go for a Baneling Bust, um, and against the Zerg, it doesn't really work all that much. He's uh, really, it's not going to be a Baneling Bust, then. it's going to be um, just a defensive or offensive Baneling just depending on how he feels and against how many uh, Zerglings he's up against, uh, as that is how Zerg versus Zerg works. Who has the most Zerglings? Who has the most Banelings? Who blows up the most Zerglings with their Banelings? That sort of thing. So Nurgio is building up quite a few forces here. He's building a couple of Where are those Banelings working in? Right here. So I do see the main links are right here. Oh, uh, what's right here? That's an overlord. Um, and they're going to be spotted by this overlord. That's very, very bad timing here. Maybe, um, maybe they'll get some drones. Maybe not. Actually, no. A huge bunch of drones just died there in that engagement. These Zerglings trying to get a few more. They get one more. They get... 
one more. Um, that was a little anticlimactic, and now Hune with his own counterattack, likely to do some damage in his own. Actually, no, he's roasted a few units here, and now there's nothing to defend against these speedlings. What's gonna happen? Oh, there is a veiling. It does kill off in the mineral line. Another drone dies there. Great reaction. 
reaction time here for Browns is putting out the score probably as soon as he saw those, or as soon as he saw that maybe was potential there. Now this score probably is out of position right now, but no, it won't be for long. They're just going to stick in, stick around for that uh, open board, not deciding to micro against the uh, Yeah. 